afternoon, Kurt Capper here with your daily recap for this Tuesday, April 11th. Hope everybody had a great trading day. And after what started out to be a, a pretty nice move to the downside, you can see here the S&P actually moved lower nicely in the morning. And if I go to the hourly chart, you can see with a little more clarity, we got, uh, you know, the first part of the morning, some nice movement to the downside, breaking down from this sideways range that we had been in here, right? And looking like it would be able to continue lower at least down to this prior low uh, here but that just wasn't in the cards buyers stepped in after this little inside bar on the hourly and here we got this uh, move back up basically to the high of the day not quite you know we ended the day down just just slightly but overall a really nice recovery and going back to the daily you can see that we uh, we finished here once again right in that that frustrating range between the 20 day and 50 day so on a closing basis not much has changed although we did have quite a bit of movement we did get that break below the 50 day which admittedly i thought would have been able to bring us a bit more momentum a bit more action and follow through but uh that like i said that just wasn't in the cards here for today we got this rally back up and now things have become uh, you know a little a little bit more interesting because now now there is the potential for either this to be a failed breakdown that should send us higher back up towards you know easily around 130 or rather 237 then maybe even back up to the 240 area uh, or if it fails maybe then we we really start to see some significant selling pressure come in so um, in, in any case this is setting up to be a failure because the expectation was such that uh, we would be moving lower and by the end of the day that hasn't happened so uh, we'll keep an eye on this see how it develops but the other thing to pay attention to and uh, as i've already mentioned here is keeping an eye on the vix uh, you can see here it closed up here once again today also taking out this prior pivot high around 1750 so uh, that's significant and also gapping and closing above the 50-day moving average so again multiple reference points of resistance being taken out here which uh, doesn't line up with the action that we saw in the market today generally if the vix is moving up the market's moving down so what this tells us what the, what the vix moving up tells us is that fear and uncertainty are increasing but it's not yet being reflected in the market so there, there's possibly complacency taking place right now and uh if that persists you know it, it could result in a pretty significant move down and if it resolves to the upside then uh we could see a pretty significant move up as well but in in any way this is going to need to resolve itself because this is not a scenario that will last for very long without getting some resolution right um and just just to look at the uh The VIX, you can see again this one also breaking out, and this one actually broke out and closed above a significant level of resistance here. You can see that, you know, this this has been a pretty key level here around the uh, fifteen dollar mark, and we closed above that as well. So it, it's something we have to recognize, and something we have to uh, understand isn't the quote unquote norm. And pay attention to what happens now as we move forward into the uh, the later part of the week with again the market being closed on Friday um, just looking at some individual names real quick you know we had a lot of general weakness Tesla a little bit of a pause here pulling back into this gap fill support area hasn't filled the gap but on top of a little support maybe that gets a little bit of a bounce tomorrow we'll see Apple was under some additional pressure here and actually closed below the 20 day moving average for the first time um, really since all the way back here last year <laughs> so this this is actually the first time Apple has closed below the 20 day moving average since the beginning of the year and even going back to the beginning of December last year so it's it's been a while um, that being said, it did hold 
the support and gave us a little bit of a bottoming tail so we'll see how that trades but we may start to see apple getting into this more range bound um, uh, scenario here so keep an eye on that uh you also had netflix which actually had a decent day all things considered another bottoming tail here so this may be one getting ready to uh, move higher as far as some other names airlines actually considering the uh you know the the bad pr with regard to united actually didn't have a bad day you can see luv closing up near the high of the day and also the 50-day moving average this looks like it's getting ready to move higher so keep an eye on this one and also JetBlue. this had a nice day here today and uh, looks to be headed up towards that 23 to 23 and a quarter level so uh, definitely something to keep an eye on as well as just these airlines in general outside of uh, you know united which really we can take a look here after the move lower it actually recovered quite a bit following the gap down uh, so all in all it, it's kind of shaken shaking it off it was it was seen nothing as nothing more than an opportunity to get long so uh, you know with with all the headlines it really wasn't all that bad uh, all right so that, that's really it for today it was an interesting session as I said uh, there was that little bit of hope that we had in the market looking like maybe this volatility would start picking up and momentum would be coming in but uh, then all we did was pop right back up and on a closing basis finished between the 20 and 50 day moving averages on the S&P so we'll see what tomorrow brings but until then have a great night and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow <music>